Um, it felt, oh, hi, Marita. Yeah, hi, good morning. Best. All right, and if you guys wanna get started by just laying on your backs, we're gonna start with some belly breathing. <laughs> All right, so foam roller doesn't need to be between your knees yet. So just lay on your backs. Knees are gonna come up to a place that's comfortable. You wanna feel that pelvis just ever so slightly tuck under, so there's a straight line between your ribs and your hips. Are you gonna do it? One hand on your ribs and one hand on Can your- Can you put it on leg. speaker? Taking big inhales for one, and then you're going to exhale out of your mouth for six, five, four, three, two, one. And in again for three, two, one, two, three, my ear. and out your mouth for six, five, four, three, two, one. Another time, big inhale through that nose for three, two, one, and exhaling out of your mouth for six, five, four, three, two, one. Big inhale through the nose, feeling your entire chest inflate in 360 degrees. That air pushes forward, side, and back, and out of your mouth for six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna do two more big inhale, really focusing on that large expansion. If you're a sphere, you're in a balloon, you blow up bigger and exhale in the same way. So that balloon gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Last big inhale here through the nose, feel the ribs press into the floor as well as away in the front and out of the mouth for six, five, four, three, two, and one. You guys can come on up, grab whatever foam roller, toilet paper roll, paper towel roll that you have. We're gonna find that wall that we used last week. You're just gonna come up. Knees are gonna come to a 90 degree angle with the floor. Feet are gonna come up and press lightly on the wall. Whatever object you have to put between your knees, just place it and give them a little squeeze. From there, I want you to feel your pelvis, your low abs engage, so it tucks under and your hamstrings just come to the point where they kick on. It's not gonna feel like a hamstring curl necessarily, just a little activation to say, hey, we're working. Reaching both arms up to the wall, or up to the ceiling, taking a big inhale with that same pace we did earlier. We're gonna do five breaths here. Inhaling through the nose for three, two, one, and exhaling out the mouth for six, five, four, three, two, one. Big inhale again for three, two, one. And exhaling out the mouth for six, five, four, three, two, one. Remember to be actively reaching up towards the ceiling. Inhaling for three, two, one and exhaling out the mouth for six, five, four, three, two, one. Two more big breaths, big inhale through the nose for three, two, one. Hold it for a sec and out the mouth for six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one here, big inhale through the nose. Holding in for three, two, one, and exhaling out of the mouth for one final time for six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, you guys can come on down. You're gonna flip it around. So we enter that quadruped pose. So we want our wrists nice and in line with our shoulders. Our booties aren't pressing back. We're not forward too much. We're just in a nice flat line. From here, I want you to feel that you actively press away from the floor, rounding that upper back. So your shoulder blades are gonna pull forward. I have a lot of pressure into the floor. And from here, we're gonna take five big breaths, that same tempo. Big inhale, pressing away more for three, two, one. And exhaling here for six, five, four, three, 
two, one. Now let yourself relax a little bit and big inhale. Breathe three, two, one. And exhaling out the mouth for six, five, four, three, two, one. Big inhale, pressing away. And slow exhale here. As you exhale, the shoulder blades are gonna come down your back a little bit. That's okay, we want that. Big inhale again, actively pressing. And out the mouth for six, five, four, three, two, one. Big inhale again. Holding for just a minute and exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Final big breath here. Big inhale, pulling away from the floor. Make this the most pressure you have yet. And exhaling now for six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, come up onto your knees and we're gonna work on those active kneeling cat cows. So if you've ever, um, we've got some new people this week. So yoga, you've got your cats here and your cows here. We're just gonna take that up to a kneeling position. It's gonna be a similar movement. So taking your hands, putting them behind your head, turn to the side. You guys are gonna go inhale and arch and then exhale, contract. So your booty's gonna sink back a little bit as that core comes in, that's okay. So we're gonna do a set of five, take a little bit to relax and then five more. So ready to inhale and exhale. Big inhale and exhale. Focus here is 360 degrees of expansion and compression. Starting to get that core working more. Big inhale and exhale. All right, so I want you guys to take a second. So that was five. Know kind of where you felt your air was going. Were you being able to push forward out to the sides and back? Or was one of those a little bit less than the other? So let's go into our next set. Wherever you felt that you weren't quite getting air within your rib cage, that's where I want you to focus on sending it. Now, even though your lungs don't quite have the, don't have the musculature to expand, when you focus on that area, you will get some more activation. That air will travel there, all right? So let's head into another set. Hands come behind the head. Toes are tucking under. So you have pressure into the floor. Big inhale and exhale. Big inhale and exhale. Another one. Big inhale and exhale. Last two. Big inhale. Send that air where it needs to go and exhale. And last one here, big inhale. And exhale. Awesome. We're gonna head into some active range of motion now. So I want you to come down, sit on your booties. Awesome. We're gonna head into some cars. So for our first one, we're gonna start at our ankles and then work our way up our body. So again, if it's more comfortable to have your foot out to the side, or tucking under, wherever is best for you. Take one hand, put it under your thigh so you're able to lift, and the other hand is just gonna kind of rest on top. So from the side, I have this hand, it reaches under, this hand is just on top. I'm gonna lift my foot up, and then from there, I'm gonna bring my toe towards myself, over to the side, it goes into a point, turns in and back up. And then we're gonna take it around to the other side. So it goes in, points down to the ground, over to the side, toes start to lead you back all the way up. So we're gonna do five each way. Um, so it's just like go one way and then the other way and that's one, all right? So bringing that leg up, lifting up with that arm, this hand just rests on top for support, bringing toes towards yourself, out to the side, down to the ground, in and up and back around, they go in, down to the ground, over to the side, and back up. Here we are to the other side. They go out, down to the ground, into the side, and up, out to the side, out to the inside, down to the ground, side, and up. 
now take it back the other way, side, down, in, and up, inside, down, out to the side, and up. Now, as you go into these last two, whatever sort of circle you've been making, try and make it a little bit bigger. If you have a paintbrush in your toes, you want that circle to look bigger as you were painting it than you were before. Last one here, out to the side, down, in, and up, and out to the side, down, outside, and up. Awesome, we're gonna switch it around now. So you guys are gonna take that other foot to whatever position is comfortable here or here, reaching right arm under, left arm's just gonna come to the top. Here we go again, bringing the toes up towards your shin, the inside, down, outside, and up, outside, down, inside, and up. Here we go, back around, inside, down, outside, up, outside, down, inside, up. Thinking still, making each circle bigger than the last. Really feeling like you're pushing that range of motion in your ankle at all points of the circle to get a nice stretch through all of those tendons and ligaments into that joint capsule. All right, last one here, taking it to the inside, down, outside and up, outside, down, inside and up. Awesome. So next one we're gonna do is we're gonna work into some hip mobility. So we're just gonna come back to that all fours position. We're gonna do our hip card um, similarly to last week. So we're gonna bring our foot in towards our chest, keeping good pressure into the floor, out to the side, back, and down, back, out to the side, in, and down. So the goal here, um, being on all fours instead of standing, like we sometimes do in the warm up in the gym, I really want you guys to have more stability in your hands and in that foot so your pelvis doesn't flip side to side. So wherever your range of motion is today, that's perfect. That's where it needs to be. You want to try and get it bigger each time, just like with the ankle cars, but don't let your hips flip side to side. So we're gonna go forward, around, and back, back, around, and forward. That's one, we'll do five each hip, all right? So good pressure into the floor, feel yourself nice and stable. You can tuck these toes in the back under if that's helpful for you. All right, so bringing that knee towards the chest, up to the side, around, and back down, to the back, up, around to the front, and down, there's one. So if you felt that your hips were moving a teeny tiny bit, engage that lower core and take that range of motion just a tiny bit smaller so you don't get that shift. All right, up towards the chest, to the side, back and around, back, side, around, and down. We've got two more, bringing it towards the chest, side, around and down, back, side, around and down. Final one here, up towards your chest, over to the side, back and around, back, around and down. All right, we're gonna flip it around so you go to the other side. Same exact thing here. It's okay if there's slightly different um, sizes in your range between your hips perfectly normal. Um, the goal is ultimately to get them to be as even as we can, all right? So here we go, bringing it knee towards the chest, up to the side, around, and down, back, up, to the chest, and down. So that's one. Shift yourself to get yourself back in alignment if you need to. Bringing the knee towards the chest, up to the side, around, and down to the back, up, around, and down. Bringing it towards the chest. Knee goes up to the side, make this circle bigger. Now we've done a couple. Try and push yourself without shifting in your hips to paint a bigger circle than last time. We've got one, two more here. Knee to the chest, 
side, around, down, back, around, chest, down. Final one here, knee comes to the chest, around, to the back, and down, to the back, up to the side, to the chest, and down. All right, so next we're gonna come up to a half kneeling position, getting in a little bit of a hip flexor stretch. Um, so what you're gonna do, so you're gonna come up onto all fours, back toes are gonna tuck under, front knee is gonna come to 90 degrees. You're gonna pull the hips under, reach the same arm as the knee that's down, move back so y'all can see my arm a little bit more. From here, tuck under, hips tuck as well, reaching up. We're gonna inhale and exhale out to the side and come back. So we're gonna take eight breaths here. So reaching up on the inhale, coming over to the side on the exhale. As you bend over to the side, you're also pressing hips ever so slightly forward without dumping into that front knee, okay? So if you guys are keeping those low abs engaged, pelvis will stay tucked. You'll feel a deeper stretch down the front and this will give a stretch deeper up the side of your core, all right? So let's go, we're gonna take eight breaths each side. So everyone in position, back toes tucked under, pelvis tucks in, reaching up, big inhale, exhale out to the side, and reset, tuck those hips again, big inhale, and exhale out to the side, and coming back, big inhale, hips tucked under, exhale out to the side, and coming back, big inhale, and out to the side, and coming back, big inhale, hips tuck out to the side, last three, big inhale, pressing hips forward, over to the side, and back, last two, big inhale, exhaling out to the side, and coming back, last one, big inhale, out to the side, and coming back. All right, let's switch it up, other side. Same exact setup here, back toes tucked under. Feel those hips come in. Even if you're tucking your hips in enough, you might get a stretch in the front of your leg. With my left leg, I get it. That's totally fine and normal, all right? So get that, those hips tucked. Big inhale up, and exhale. This side, coming back. Big inhale, hips tucked under. Exhale, you bend out to the side. Big inhale, hips tuck forward and out to the side. Inhale, and tuck, exhale out to the side. Coming back, big inhale, out to the side, forward, and coming back. Big inhale, exhale to the side. Coming back, last two here, big inhale and tuck. Out to the side on the exhale. Coming back, last one. Big inhale, out to the side. And coming back, awesome. So next, you've done, you know, it's just some like more passively active range of motion stuff. Um, we've done a little static stretching, so now let's really head into some active mobility. Um, we're gonna do is hip boxes from last week. If you guys weren't here, what that's gonna be is you're gonna start with your hips, or um, knees up in this sort of like 90-ish degree angle. From there, you're gonna let your knees fall over to one side with the goal of keeping both your sit bones on the floor. For me, my left side, my knee doesn't come all the way out onto the ground, my right side doesn't either. That's okay, you know, just whatever point is best for you again. So you're here, they fall over to the right, hip bones only go to the point the hip bones stay on the ground, come back up to the top, hips fall in again, and come up, all right? So hands can reach forward, um, you don't have to have ballet arms, sorry y'all, I just kind of go there automatically, <laughs> all right? So just reaching forward, we're going to fall to the right and to the left is one, we're going to do eight, all right? So reaching forward, let hips fall to the right. Let them just kind of exhale here, let them sink in, big inhale, and exhale as you fall. Back to the center, big inhale. Exhale as you go to the right. Coming back in, inhaling and exhaling out to the side. Coming back up, big inhale, up to the side. 
coming back front and exhaling left side and back up inhaling and exhaling to the right big inhale exhale to the left so we're halfway through big inhale to the exhale to the right coming up big inhale and exhale to the left good job inhale exhale as the knees fall coming back up big inhale exhale as they fall so member sit bones are staying on the ground the whole time coming back up last two big inhale and exhale here inhaling through the center exhaling as the knees fall coming back up one last time exhaling you guys should be reaching a deeper point hopefully by now and last one over to the other side awesome so stand up if you need to it always feels really good kind of here to so you've been sitting you've been doing all this stuff hips should feel a lot looser um and nicer so if you guys want to have a little like self check-in like oh is this working definitely should loosen stuff up in there all right so we're going to come back down to all fours um we're going to get going on a circuit here just in a second but we're going to do um another set of sort of circular motion really working on our scapula before we go into our arms all right so what i want you guys to think about here is creating a box with your head so the first part of my box i'm going to press up and away from the floor my head's going to travel back i go down and forward so all of this is going to be focused in pulling my shoulders like forward down side and back okay so just one more time we're going to press our shoulders down they're going to come forward they're going to go let your chest fall and then they pull back so they press forward back down and forward does that make sense for everyone all right so let's all go together we're just going to do five um forward so we stay in the same direction and then we're going to reverse it all right so everyone presses up and away from the floor shoulders come forward you let your chest fall and head travels forward only because the shoulder blades pull down then you press up and away from the floor back down and shoulders pull down again so press away from the floor shoulders come forward chest falls down shoulders pull back press up and away shoulders come forward chest falls back forward we've got two more pressing up and away shoulders come forward chest falls down shoulders come back pressing up and away shoulders come forward chest falls down shoulders pull forward now so that was five there now we're going to reverse it so from here let the chest fall shoulders pull forward press away from the floor they pull back chest falls forward, shoulders pull up, press away from the floor, shoulders pull back. All right, so let's head into five here. So letting that chest fall, shoulders push forward, press away from the floor, shoulders pull back. So your head travels slightly in front of your hands, chest falls down, shoulders pull forward, press away from the floor, shoulders pull back, head travels in front of the hands shoulders come head comes down shoulders pull forward passing away from the floor shoulders travel back head travels forward three more shoulders fall down back away head travels forward while shoulders travel back chest falls down shoulders pull forward press away from the floor shoulders pull back head travels forward last one shoulders fall down pressing back away from the floor and forward awesome so now let's head back to that wall space you had we're going to work on our arms now so shoulders have gotten nice and warm you've got the blood flowing up there standing a foot or two away from the wall if you guys need a good measure your own feet should be pretty nice i like to do two feet um so just toes toe to heel and then i flip that foot around and bring it around arm is going to travel with thumb coming forward at the very end 
you're gonna rotate so that pinky finger is gonna travel on the wall all the way down. Then your thumb is gonna lead you back. It flips at the last possible moment around. Thumb is gonna finish forward, all right? So we're gonna just do three each side. If you find that your torso is having to twist, you're too close. Again, it might be you have two feet, you might be three feet away from the wall, whatever is best for you. All right, so, but if you're getting this chest all the way back here and you end up like facing the wall, two flips, take it a step away. All right, so here we go. We'll find the spot. You might have to adjust midway. So thumb is gonna trace up and around, twisting. Pinky ends up on the wall and pinky ends forward. Thumb is ending behind you. Thumb is leading back, twisting at the last possible moment, coming up and around. Thumb is going to lead you forward, twisting at the last possible moment, around, thumb is ending behind you, pinky forward, and taking it back as far as you can, rotate at the last second, up and around. Now, if you guys want to have a little self-check, placing that other hand that's not working on your ribs to see if you really are staying still. So th on this last one, thumb is going to lead you up, Twisted the last possible second. Did your ribs move? If they move to the side, you might need to take a step back for this up, for the other side. So thumb is gonna lead you back, up, around, and forward. All right, you guys, so we're gonna flip it around. I'm gonna stay slightly away from the wall so you guys can see this arm operate. Um, taking that right hand here, let's go ahead and place that on the ribs so that everyone gets a little self-check. From here, same exact motion. Thumb is gonna lead you forward. To the point where you can't go anymore, it twists around. That pinky finger is gonna come and end by your side while your thumb is behind you. Thumb is gonna lead you back to the last possible moment. It twists around, up, and comes forward. So bringing that arm up, shoulder is gonna stay down, pulling away from the ear. Hand twists at the last possible minute, so the pinky finger ends by your thigh. Thumb is gonna lead you back, up and around making a bigger circle than the last time. Last one here, hands gonna come up, last possible minute, twist around, ribs are staying exactly where you set them, not where they want to go. And leading back one final time, thumb around, up and down. Awesome, if you guys need a drink of water, we're gonna head into a small isometric circuit um, real fast, just like 10 minutes and then you guys will be all All right, you guys, so while you guys get a drink of water, I'm just gonna go through the exercises so you guys kind of do both. Um, sorry for my notes. Um, when you guys go, so the first one we're gonna do is that split squat from last week. If you guys want an extra challenge, lifting front toes up, all right? So we're gonna do 30 seconds each side. The next one we're going to do, um, you'll need whatever little foam roller squishy thing that y'all had. Um, this one is going to be more dynamic. So not a true isometric, but from here, hips are going to come up into that same position as they were before. Arms can reach up or stay grounded into the ground. You're just going to do little marches, pulling feet off the wall, squeezing between your knees the whole time. All right. So you want these really slow and controlled. These are gonna be very small motions within your hips. They're not like big marches because then you're gonna lose your things. So just from here, hips tuck under, little teensy baby marches. All right. Next one we're gonna do is coming up to that wall. You're gonna have your arms in a Y. They reach up. My core stays down. My ribs are not flaring open. We're gonna lift shoulders off, hold for five, touch the wall, back down. They make a Y, shoulders lift off, back down here. So if you're on the wall, it'll look like from here, I reach up in a Y, reach my arms back, hold for three, two, one, back down, elbows in. Reaching up, off, three, two, one, hands come down, back in, okay? Final, what we're gonna do is just a little pull. So y'all 
We'll come against the wall. Hands, I want you to press in. Um, from here, this is gonna cause your ribs to immediately dive down and hips to tuck under. So having this pressure into the wall is very, very important. From there, we're just gonna go lowering. Three, two, one, back up. Three, two, one, back up, all right? So we're just gonna kind of roll through this, get heart rate up a little bit. We're gonna do 30 seconds of each one for three rounds and we're not going to break. All right. So take breaks if you need it, but definitely try to like push yourself, get through the whole thing. So my math is right. This is only going to be like nine ish, seven ish minutes. Okay. I forget what my exact numbers were. I did it right before class. Um, but all right. So our first one we're going to do is head into that split squat. So remember foot's going to stay close. Both legs are at 90. And here we go for three, two, one, go. So keeping hips nice and square here, that right hip is gonna pull forward while that left hip pulls back. So you guys will stay nice and low here. If you guys want an extra challenge, coming up on that front toe, working on some of that ankle stability. So staying here, you guys are halfway through. And five more seconds, four, Three, two, one. Awesome, come around and switch it up. Coming down in three, two, one, go. Really feeling that right hip pull back and the left hip pull forward this time. So you should feel nice activation through your core. You guys are doing awesome. Try and sink a little bit lower if you can. Just 10 more seconds. Think a little bit lower and holding here for five, four, three, two, one. Come on up. We're gonna head into those marches. So grab whatever your bikini thing is. And we're just gonna do 30 seconds of marches. So set yourself up in a good position. We are on the wall, 90 degrees with the knees. You need to scoot your booty a little bit closer. Taking the object, place it between your knees. Feeling hips tucked in and under, hamstrings will kick on. Here we go for our marches. Remember, these are very, very small. Just little, tiny lifts off of the feet while you keep constant pressure into the foam roller. If you want more of a challenge, reaching arms up actively, like we did with our breathing, is another great way to do that. So keep on just those little marches. You should feel it like sort of up in the weird corners of your core. All right, and here you are in three, two, one, done. Awesome. So we're gonna come, we're gonna, um, let's actually flip it around. So let's head into those wall press abs next. So that way, since you're already right by your wall, come on down, hands press into the ground or into the, whether if you're on the, if you're on the floor, really, I'd like you have to have something you can actively press against. But if you, you just kind of bring them up behind your head to get some pressure there. Um, hands press into the wall, knees come up to 90 degrees. We're going to start lowering in three, two, one, go. So they come down nice and slow and up at the same tempo. So down, slow, exhaling, and inhale here. And exhale, and inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale, inhale, last one here, exhale, and inhale on the way up. Awesome. So you guys can come on up. We're going to head to that wall with those lift offs. So, Remember this from here, you want to stand a little bit away from the wall so you can get these ribs down and core stays nice and tight, making a wide lifting off, coming back and bringing it down. All right, here we go. Starting in that elbows relatively close, hands come up to make a Y. Lift off for three, two, one, back to the wall and in. Lifting hands up, lifting off for three, two, one, back down 
and in. Up, lift back, holding for three, two, one, back down, and by your side. Final one here, up to your Y, lifting off, holding here for three, two, one, back down, and in. Awesome. So next we're just gonna go through the single round. Grab a drink if you need it, but come and meet us as we get restarted here. All right, and here we go in three, two, one. Down to that split squat. Hands can be in front of you, hands can be on your hips. If you guys are having trouble feeling that shift in those hips, bringing that right hip forward and that left hip back, having your hands on your hips and physically moving your hip bones is a really good way to kind of help yourself feel that position. If you're already super comfortable with that, having hands in front is totally good as well. Reaching hands forward will help you get a little bit more core. And here we are for three, two, one. Come up, switch it around. Feeling a right hip pull back now and the left hip pulling forward. Hands on hips if you need to feel that. Core stays very tight. So there's a flat line in my back. I'm not letting my booty flip out. Coming down a little bit more if you need to. Toes up again if you want that extra challenge. And holding here for five, four, three, two, one, done. So let's head into those marches. So coming up, so feet are again 90 degrees in the knees. Object goes between your knees. Little tiny lift offs with the feet. Here we are, go. Tiny lift offs. Feeling hips stay super, super tucked. Just small motions here. If you guys aren't really feeling a ton, that's all right. Think about bringing your hips to tuck under more so you get greater core activation. And you probably, it won't be very big. It's just kind of like a little tweak. That's all right. Last one here for three, two, one. Awesome job flipping around. Just having those hands press into that wall now. Doing our heels lowering down to the ground. Lots of pressure into the wall. Coming down for three, two, one, and up. Exhaling on the way down. Inhaling on the way up. And exhale on the way down. Coming up. If you're shaking, you're doing it right. <laughs> if you aren't, try to press that low back into the ground more. And up and really focus on your breath. Big exhales on the way down, big inhales on the way up. Final two here, lower, lots and lots of pressure. And back up, final one here, lowering and back up. All right, come on up. We'll head into our wall slides. Now for these, if they felt pretty easy, you can take a step closer to the wall. The closer, oh, no, I thought I got to go outside. So I had this fly, sorry, story time. I had this fly fly into my apartment last night because I had my screen door open and I thought I got him out. I chased this fly around my place for 20 minutes and I thought he left and apparently he's still inside. So I need to fix that later. Sorry. <laughs> All right, Wayne, you guys, if you're having um, a pretty easy time with this, Taking a step closer to the wall will make it harder. You'll have to focus on those ribs more. So come into that spot that's comfy for you. And let's get started. Hand start by the sides. Coming up, re lifting off for three, two, one, back down and in. Hands coming up, lifting off for three, two, one. Hands on the wall, back down. Hands up, lift off, holding for three, two, one, back down and in. Reaching up to form that Y. Lifting off for three, two, one, back down and in. Last one here, reaching up. Hands come off for three, two, one, back down and in. Right, final round here, we're just gonna do another set of split squats um, and, until all of our other exercises are all right. So last one here, here we go for three. Two, one, down into our split squat. Hands reaching forward on your hips. Whichever is the right spot for you. Option again to lift that front 
heel off the ground. But if you are lifting that heel off the ground, I do want you to stay in that really low 90 degrees in that front leg. Also a nice work if you got some little ankle issues, good way to work on those. Coming on up, switch it around. Back to that position, feeling right hip draw back, left hip draws forward, lifting heel off the ground if you want to. You guys are doing great, just 15 seconds left. Remember to breathe. Breathing will make it easier, I promise. Even if it seems like it's harder, just last five seconds here. And three, two, one, come on up. Let's head into our marches. Taking that foam roller, it's set up with every exercise, but especially this one, making sure you're in the right position is so important. Placing that foam roller, whatever it is, between your knees, lifting booty up just a tiny bit so low back presses into the ground. Let's go for our marches. Baby little lifts here. Feeling like the foot comes off the wall because you're engaging the hip flexors that are higher up in your core, more so than because of your leg muscles. You'll also really have to work to stable, stabilize the other side as you lift one side off. That's good, that's what we want. All right, last five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Awesome, come on down. Turn around, so hands come into the wall. Remember, lots and lots of pressure here. If you're shaking, you're doing it right. I have been doing these for three years and I still shake every single time. Um, so <laughs> it's not, you're not alone in your shakiness. So hands press into the wall, low back comes in. Knees lift up, so feet are off the ground. Lowering for three, two, one as you exhale and come back up. Lowering for three, two, one, coming up. Hips tuck under, lower, three, two, one, come up. Hips tuck in, lower for three, two, one, come up. Hips tuck in, lower, three, two, one, come up. Last two here, hips tuck under, lower, three, two, one, coming up. Hips tuck under, lower, three, two, one, coming on up. Last one here, hips tuck under, three, one and come on up. Awesome left final exercise here. Standing closer to that wall if you want more of a challenge. Here we go in three, two, one. Arms lift up, ribs stay down. Lift off, hold here for three, two, one. Hands come down to the wall and back towards the sides. Hands come up, keep that neck nice and long so your breath stays even. Holding here and back down, elbows in. Reaching up, neck staying long, shoulders staying down, reach back. Hands come off the wall for three, two, one, back down and in. Last one, hands reaching up, elbows and hands come off, back down to the wall and in. Awesome job, you guys. So that's class for today. Sorry, we went a little longer than I thought, but that just ended up being normal class time. So, how did, how's everyone feeling? Good. Good. Yay!